Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And in this video, we have 2019.36.2.1 running the Curvy Country Road Test. And if you haven't seen this Curvy Country Road Test, I basically, there's a stretch of really curvy, a back country road that I do every single software update with. So let's jump right in. So if you haven't seen this test before, this first section of the road before you get to this little town portion is pretty easy, easy kind of longer bending curves, not anything too severe. So it's pretty easy for the car and we haven't had any takeovers. I think the only takeover we had was maybe one takeover um, on the very first test, which was probably like a year ago with all the software um, updates that we've had. So really smooth here. It does pick up the car pretty quickly in front of us and we come to approaching this town. So if you haven't seen the other Curvy Country Road Test, I highly recommend going and watching, and it's so cool to watch how Autopilot has advanced over the past several updates. Really interesting stuff. I'll leave a link to that playlist down in the description, and I'll try to remember to put one of those little cards up here in the corner. So we're coming up to this little town here, and I have to turn to the right because autopilot isn't able to pick up this little yield here. So I do take over, so I disengage the autopilot, and then you can see me there re-engaging the autopilot just as we get some karaoke and some traffic going on. So there's lots of things going on right there, and the car is doing great. So I re-engage autopilot. We do have a slight bend to the left, and cars are slowing down in front of us. So really impressive to see my hardware 2.5 Model 3 handle all those things simultaneously while entertaining everybody in the car with some karaoke. So we go over some train tracks here, still engaged with autopilot as we have this kind of stop and go traffic before we come up here to a stop sign and which you all probably know if you're familiar with Tesla that the stop sign is not detected yet. So really hoping to see the stop, time, stop light and stop sign detection with a future update that hopefully happens soon. So before we get to the harder section of this road, I wanna to jump to a section of road where I was actually able to engage autopilot here and then there is no lane lines. So we're gonna pass multiple cars and again, this is with the same software version that we're running in the Curvy Country Road Test here. We're passing multiple cars here and you can see that the autopilot is able to maintain that right hand lane position even with no lane lines, which is really cool. Even over this crest of the hill, we have a car coming. I get a little nervous there, but it is able to maintain. So back to the Curvy Country Road Test, we engage here. It did fail at this moment again, just like the last time. That is a pretty severe curve, and we also have uh, some double yellow line lacking there, so I think that is part of the reason. So we'll look to see some improvement there in a future update. So we do have some longer bending curves as we get out of this town at pretty low speeds. I bump it up here over to 40 miles an hour and then you can see the speed drop down all the way to 30 as it is able to identify a curve. That is what is making Tesla's autopilot so successful on these back country roads. When the car is able to identify a curve, it actually slows down pretty drastically. I've seen it slow down up to 11 miles under the max speed which is really helpful and gives me as a driver a lot of confidence in the autopilot system as it approaches that curve at a reasonable speed versus in previous or older software updates trying to take it at full speed. So here is a really complex curve here. We get some help from that car that turns in front of us so autopilot does slow down and it did disengage there which was interesting. So I didn't pull on the wheel, I just didn't let the wheel kind of turn to the left but it kind of disengaged really easily. So that is a disengagement, so it did seem like this software version, and I will say, now that I've driven with this software version around town and everything and used it, I feel like this software version was kind of a step backwards and didn't really kind of push us forward or take a step forward. Um, not only with the performance during this test, I was able to see that, but also with some other things like um, there around a curve, it was identifying a car in a different lane and trying to you know, stop for that car. But also, I noticed with this software version that the speakers were going in and out. Intermittently, the speakers would just kind of go out. Let me know down in the comment section if you're also experiencing that with this same software version. 
So we have another really difficult left blind, left curve coming up here. And although it does get a little bit over to that right-hand side, it does a fantastic job. So then we have a blind right-hand curve going up a hill, and it does a phenomenal job keeping the lane position. Really impressed, again, with the autopilot system, although I do think that we're seeing about the same performance, if not a step backwards on some curves. And here is the last curve in the test, and it does a pretty decent job, although it does kind of hug that right side just a little bit more than I would have liked. So again, Curvy Country Road Test, this is test number 10. Go and check out the playlist. So there is 10 other tests on there and you can see improvements with the software version. Although I think this software version, there are some things lacking compared to the last software update. So I'm hoping to get the next software version really soon. I'll be sure to post a video of that when I get it. I wanna encourage you, yes, you right now watching this video, to head over to my Patreon and support this channel for as little as $1 a month. Special shout out to Akrama Tool and Nicola Pro for supporting this channel at the top tier. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next one.